it's a little sea animal on, that's on the ocean floor. They're not very cute. They're not very cute. They actually they are kind of shaped like a cucumber. That's the name. But they're not only antiviral, antibacterial. So sea cucumber has been used to treat gingivitis and gum disease. Okay. It, it, uh, the, the Journal of Oral uh, Health has published several articles on using that to treat the, the bleeding that's associated with gum disease. Okay. Works very well. But cancer specifically, it's used as an adjunct to a lot of people that are undergoing chemotherapy because it's very effective at mitigating the side effects of chemotherapy because it's been shown to be immunomodulatory. What does that mean? It modulates your immune system. So it helps build your immune system when chemotherapy well, it helps, you down. Exactly. Chemotherapy is, a, is an immunosuppressive set of drugs. So it kills the cancer cells, but in the meantime, it kills your immune system. A lot of other things, too. A lot of other things. The, the properties of sea cucumber that are so fascinating is that it is immunomodulatory. Now, it's not, it doesn't necessarily upregulate your immune system, but it modulates it to where it needs to be. It makes it run at the perfect speed. Okay. And so if, it's, if you have autoimmune disease and your, your immune system runs too high, sea cucumber can bring it down. But if you're undergoing chemotherapy, it'll bring it up. And that's what's so important to stay healthy is the immune system. And that's why it's so effective as an adjunct treatment as well as a treatment in and of itself if people decide to just use sea cucumber. The studies that have been done on pancreatic cancer and about a dozen other types of cancer, which you've, you've read about, is really amazing. Yeah, but these studies aren't done by just nobodies. Oh, yeah, these are, these are published in the National Institutes of Health. Yeah, they're available on PubMed. Um, the thing that's fascinating about sea cucumber is two different facets. Number one is it's cytotoxic, which means that it kills cancer cells. It's also immunomodulatory. So it's got both sides of the cancer equation that I like to put it, the cancer killing coin. If you're going to defeat cancer, you have to have something that upregulates or downregulates your immune system to where it works properly so that your body can do what it's supposed to do. But you have to also have something that's going to kill those cancer cells. The sea cucumber does both. So basically, this is a miracle medicine that nobody's ever heard about. Why? Why have they not heard about sea cucumber? Yes, I mean, why is it not on the front page of the newspaper? Because because most people don't haven't heard about anything that their doctor hasn't told them about, and most doctors aren't really aren't familiar with this. They're not familiar with the sea cucumber because the the oncologists that treat cancer they use the the protocol that the, 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 the big three treatments, the chemo, radiation, and surgery, because those are the ones that they were taught when they go through med medical school. And I'm not aware of any medical school that has any courses teaching them on sea cucumber at this point. <laughs> they probably laughed out of the medical school if they, they tried they, to do they it. They might be. Even though the, the sea cucumber has been researched for about the last 15 years, it's just now really becoming more popular in, in mainstream. But the Chinese have used it in other for capacities thousands for thousands of years. Of years. Yes. Those Chinese are very smart. They are, it has been used in Chinese medicine for a long time. <laughs> So this, uh, the sea cucumber, like, how do you take it? Is it a tincture? Is it a pill? Where do you find it? Right. Well, the Chinese, they, they will cook it, and they'll actually eat eat it. But the way that you'll find it is in You mean they'll eat it like a, a dish? Yeah, and they'll use it in a dish. They'll cook okay. it up. Because it, it's, a, it's a mammal. Well, not it's exactly. Taste. I think it's an invertebrate, technically. <laughs> but uh, they, you can cook it up. But the way that you'll find it in your local health food stores is you will, they'll dry it and powder it up, and they'll put it in little capsules. And you can actually take the sea cucumber capsules. Now, one fascinating thing about sea cucumber also is that it is very high in chondroitin sulfate, which you're familiar with to treat joint pain and arthritis, right? Right, I had chondroitin cream once, yes. Well, sea cucumber is, uh, to, to my knowledge, the, has the highest concentration of con uh, chondroitin of any animal. And so you grind this up, and it's used very effectively for joint pain and arthritic pain. So most of the time that you'll find it in a health food store, you can buy it. You can actually take it for treatment of cancer, but it won't say that it treats cancer. It hasn't been approved, right. but it will say that it helps joint pain. So that's what you'll see on the, on the labels. Well, when I said miracle, I, I didn't use that word lightly. Thank right. you so much for bringing our attention to CQ.